The first main feature is about automatic query caching. That's a kind of you know tacky name. Uh, in a nutshell, it's speed. Um, if you're using our framework, you know, data self and Tableau, sometimes you might realize that you, when you open a query at the, in, uh, early in the morning, the query might, might run slowly. But when you open the second time or when someone else opens after the first user, it runs very fast. Uh, and that's pretty much because of the cache. It's a feature of computers. And what Tableau has done now is created a feature that allows Tableau server to automatically um, uh, warm up the, the cache, meaning uh, queries that are popular that have been used frequently. Uh, if you go as an admin, if you go to the Blue server on settings, general workbook performance after ref, uh, refresh, uh, schedule refresh and click this checkbox, what will happen is that every time the Tableau refreshes, uh, the Tableau extracts, uh, it will check what queries have been used uh, the most recently, usually in the last uh, week, it would automatically run them as part of the, the refresh. So when a user will open one of these queries for the first time, it will run much more quickly. Overall, uh, with data self, we tell people that uh, queries should run in less than 10 seconds. If they take more than 10 seconds, uh, many users will not wait. So this feature will be very helpful to allow users to run queries again within seconds, regardless of how much data you have. I think most of our clients will really benefit from using this new functionality, make things really fast for all queries at the very beginning of the day. Next, uh, one of the most um, uh, cool things that Tableau is doing is bringing more and more functionality to the web and mobile user interface. So if you if you if you have access to the, to the mobile interface and you have you, you are a power user, uh, or publisher user, or interactor as some people call, uh, now you can do a lot more without the desktop client. And I'm going to be showing uh, these features uh, that are new and available. So let me switch gears here. And I'm going to go to the web portal uh, of my presentation. And I'm going to open one of these workbooks to show the new features. And I'm going to open uh, the first view. So, so far, I'm just opening a view or a report in the web server. Now, if I have the edit button, you know, again, if I'm a power user, publisher user, interactor, I can click the edit button and go into the edit mode where I can change the query dramatically. I can change things. I can create new reports, dashboards, and stories. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you now in the edit mode uh, these new 10.3 features. Uh, the first one is um, format numbers more easily. Uh, so what is that about? If you want to change how a, a measure is being showed, can come on a query, come and where the, the measure is being showed on the query, click the drop down list here, the little arrow pointing down, and choose format. And right here comes this very user friendly way of choosing different ways to show the data. Uh, point and click, you change, and you get a different uh, result. Let's say I'm going to see currency, but I don't want to see decimals. There it is. Maybe you want to see in you know thousands. Very easy to change your format, and I believe will be very popular among many people. Uh, let me open another, another query that shows the same idea. So here I'm seeing you know a plot of numbers on a chart. So I go to the measure per se. I click the arrow pointing down, choose format number, and then I can say, hey, I'm going to show with decimals, and then it changes automatically the formatting. So this feature, I believe, will be popular. Uh, it's focused on a specific, specific report or dashboard. You cannot change the data uh, source formatting. It's just how it looks on a given report or dashboard. Next is drill up on continuous access. That's a new feature as well.